Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so um, today I'm actually doing the review of the Maybelline Superstay C Plus 24 Hour Skin Tint. And I've actually gone ahead and filmed this one time already and it didn't work at all. So I'm actually filming it again and hopefully it will work this time. So, um, to go ahead and get started, I did go ahead and use the Super Goop uh, Glow Oil as uh, my primer today. And this one has SPF of 50 in there. And then as far as what I did do for um, my base, I went ahead and did use the Super Stay C Plus 24 Hour Skin Tint. I have mine in 102. And I also mixed it with the uh, Beauty Bay Glow Filter, and this one is in shade 2. So I went ahead and used both of these today. And then as far as what I did for the rest of the face, use the MAC, and this is their Bronzer and Light Radiant Rosy. And so that's what I have for my bronzer today. For the actual blush, I did go ahead and use ColourPop, and that's going to be the Sunset Strip, and so that's what I have on as far as the blush goes. As far as the highlighter, I actually have two on. I have the Essence Pure Nude, and so I have this on here, here, and here. And um, this one is in shade 10, the Be My Highlight color. And then the other one that I used is uh, not here right now. It's going to be the, is this it? No, that's not it. So it's a ColourPop um, out of quartz, and it's actually a Super Shock blush that I use as a highlighter. I just now saw it. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so here I'm back. And, yep, it's Out of Quartz by ColourPop. Um, it's actually listed as a Super Shock blush, but I always go ahead and use it as a highlighter, and I have it on right along here. In fact, I think I'll put a little bit more on. Oh, and I got some of the flaky, flaky bits there. So, um, yep. Yeah. That's what I have on as my highlight on the cheeks. And again, it's the Out of Quartz. Um, yeah, Out of Quartz. Uh, and that's a Super Shock blush. So that's what I have on there. Did go ahead and use, um, let's see, the Brink uh, liner today. And I, this one's by ColourPop. I went ahead and added in the Hard Candy as well. And so this is hard candy in my type, and it's actually a plumping gloss. It has, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it has the uh, cooling effect to it. And then as far as what I did for the eyes today, I did go ahead and use the Jungle Lights, and this is by uh, Flower Beauty. I have actually, hold on. Um, I use Desert Lights a lot. Uh, I find that this is a really good palette for, uh, let's see, mainly lid colors that don't have a lot of shimmer and sparkle. So I'll go ahead and add some of this in. The Jungle Lights I haven't been using as much, and I wanted to get this one out and play with it. And as far as what I have on today, I did go ahead and put the champagne uh, right on the inner corner. Then I put the gold right above that. Then I put the champagne again right under the brow. Um, the dark purple is actually on the outer corner of the eye. I also used it as um, an eyeliner underneath the eye. The light purple is actually on the lid. Green is actually right on the very center there. And then this really pretty, um, now what color is that? Um, bronzy red, I guess is what I would call it. Um, that's actually on the brow bone, um, but the actual brow bone highlight is going to be the champagne color here. 
so uh, that's what I have on. I also have on a little bit of the Physician's Formula. This is their Butter Glow, and this one is in Translucent. And this uh, powder, I've, this is actually my second one. I repurchased it, and um, it has a lot of green in it. So if you have a lot of redness going on, green will cancel out red. At least that's a theory on the color wheel. And so this one actually is really good for that if you want to get go ahead and use it for that. Getting back to the Maybelline Superstay C Plus 24 Hour Skin Tint. When I got this, uh, one of the reasons I got it is you can see the shimmer in the bottle. And so I thought I was getting more of a glowy type of tint. And when I got it on my face, it isn't glowy. And so um, it does dry down. It actually uh, lasts. I can definitely say it lasts 12 hours. And so what I find with long wear, um, long wear skin tints and long wear uh, formulas is that now that I'm older, they tend to dry up and they they go into all my lines, all the fine lines, everything, and just make everything look cakey. And I don't like that. So what I found with this one and actually with any of the um, long wear formulas, and I'm talking about the Infallible by L'Oreal as well, this in shade 400. With these type of products, I have to go ahead and mix them with uh, something that's moisturizing and glowy. Otherwise, it just it doesn't look good by about two to three hours in. So what I've been doing for the last week and a half is going ahead and trying this product, mixing it with different products to see if it worked. And if I could get a kind of coverage that I wanted out of it. So, um, it does work with other products. I've used the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I have mine in Fair One. I've used this underneath as a primer. Definitely worked with this one. The Shirin V uh, Glow Serum Primer. It works with this one as well. So, for me, the way that I'm liking to wear it is to make it into more of a glowy, glowy product and to go ahead and add these and mix them together or use these as primers underneath this. Either way seems to work for me, and it's working a lot better. And um, this is a product that I actually do like. I will continue using it, and I love having the vitamin C in there. I like that it's not heavy coverage. Um, it's very light coverage, but it lasts, and it is long-wearing. It's just for me, being older now, I do need to mix it with something. And as far as my skin now, well, we kind of have to go back because my skin back in the day was just really oily, acne prone. Um, I am older now, and so now I have a T-zone that's actually oily, and then um, the cheeks are pretty much normal at this point, almost a little dry at this point. But like I said, when I go ahead and mix this with other products, it works a lot better. Another good product to mix it with is the Beauty Bay. This is a glow filter. This is in shade 2, and I have these two on today. This product has a lot of glow and very little pigment in it and some moisture. So it actually goes really well with this. And like I said, I'm liking the effect. I don't feel that I'm looking dry and cakey at this point. And so I'm really enjoying this, going ahead and doing it this way. Um, again, it's just, um, it's just being older. I mean, my I remember back in the day where I could wear a product like this and not alter it at all and have it last and have it work for me. Those days are no longer. So if you're older, you might want to go ahead and mix this with something else. Um, but again, just the fact that it's long wearing, if you mix it with something else, you're probably going to get it to last um, and be a little bit more flattering or flattering on you. So, um, I guess that's just about, oh, 
I forgot to tell you about my usual suspects, the Essence Thick and Wow. I have this in Caramel Blonde. That's what I have on my brows. And then the Sky High, and this is the Sky High pack that you can get. I got mine over at Walmart. It has a mascara primer and a natural mascara. I have both of these on today. Here's the way that the eye look came out. Like that. And, yeah, I think that's the video. I think that's the review. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I hope that you have a great day. See you later. Bye.